They uh, presented, they spent an hour with me. Uh, Bill Grossman came up as well, and they presented to us. Uh, by way of recollection, we have an agreement already in place with High Street to support their development as they had presented it and it had gotten passed. We had negotiated some heights, we would negotiated some uh, percentages between rental and uh, owner-occupied, a lot of stuff. And so we have, we are beholden, even though it's been almost a decade, uh, we are beholden to support the uh, development as they have proposed it. The changes that they are making are very minor. Uh, so minor that they are not going to require any additional approvals. So the number of towers are the same, the height of the towers are the same. Uh, the, the things that they're changing, some of them are inconsequential, like they're moving the hotel from one side of the development to the other, right? But th what that does is it means that that hotel is now part of phase two instead of phase one, because the development for phase one is all on one side of the property. Uh, they're switching out an office building from one side to the other, so those kinds of things are really quite minor. The other thing they're doing, and, and this is actually, I think, really very good for us, is they're shifting the center of the development back just slightly. What that does is it makes the buildings uh, closest to Perimeter Center Parkway a little bit bigger, and it makes the buildings behind a little bit smaller. The buildings behind were the tall ones. So we're shrinking a little bit the footprint of the tall buildings, and it's gonna give them just enough room to put a row of townhomes along Perimeter Center Parkway. So that as you're driving on Perimeter Center Parkway, instead of seeing parking garages, you'll now see some three-story townhomes that will block the view of the parking garages. So it's not enough parking, it's not enough townhomes to make a difference to the size of the development, right? We're, we're talking about a dozen or so uh, townhomes, so it doesn't really impact the whole development, but it, aesthetically, I think it's going to be uh, an improvement. Uh, phase one uh, has gotten a tiny bit smaller. Uh, our agreement with them limits the number of housing units to 500 in phase one, and they're actually now planning to put in 400 units. So the same number of units in the whole project, so no change in the size of the number of units or the ratio of owner-occupied to uh, rental, but they are, because they're changing the footprint of what's going in in phase one, uh, phase one will have a, a few fewer units. It is so much